Can't nobody love him like the Lord. Amen? Thank you, Lord. So we certainly do want to go before the Lord in prayer. Uh, we also want to remember many women and children everywhere. Remember Sister Cora in prayer that the Lord will touch her body. She's on the mend. So let us pray that the Lord will touch her body. Remember our children, our family members, our loved ones. And even remember uh, those that oppose us, those that oppose God. The Bible wants us to pray for them as well. Amen? Thank you, Jesus. We want to pray for everybody. Am I right? Yes. Thank you, Lord. Pray that the Lord uh, will intervene in the lives of uh, people, that the, He will save and add to the church daily, such as should be saved. And pray uh, for everything that uh, we set our hands to do for the Lord, that everything, not just some things, but everything will be all right. Uh, are there any particular prayer requests on today? And thank you, Jesus. All right, all right. We want to ask the church to stand. Saints, don't stop praying. For the Lord is not. Saints, don't stop praying. Yes, Lord. Yeah. 
one. Hallelujah. God is great. I said God is great. And he's great and to be praised. Thank you, Jesus. And we serve him. Thank God, because this was last week was the week of graduation. Amen. The Lord has blessed some of our children to graduate. Amen. Come on, give God a praise. Hallelujah. He blesses the China to graduate. I, I heard she, I heard she going to mercy verse. Amen. Come on, give God a praise. Amen. Sister Cora's son graduated. And we certainly thank God for that. Amen. God is good and his mercy endures forever. Amen. And we, uh, we have anybody else graduate? I don't want to wish nobody. God is on the sun. Come on. God is Come on and bless the Lord with me. 
and, and through effective, responsible ministry and intentional, creative, dynamic fellowship. And we certainly thank God that we uh, share in our core values. Our core value is to love one another. And how we got to love one another? And is to love and to sacrifice, to be patient, to be committed. And we thank God for our core values that we share one with another. And I praise God because he's the one that has his hand upon us. He's the one that watches over us. And as far as our today's announcements, we want to uh, wish anybody today who's celebrating a birthday, a happy birthday even for ones that celebrated on last week. You know, there's not one coming up. And we certainly praise God for that. And we certainly praise God for all of our visitors that are here with us on today. We praise God for you that you have chosen to be with us even on this hour. Thank you. God is great. Isn't he great? Thank you, Lord. We certainly thank God for Evangelist Arrington and just uh, the God being in our midst. Amen. With the family. Amen. We praise God for each and every soul that is here on today. Thank you, Jesus. And um, on today, uh, the, the 13th, uh, we have a fellowship revival at 4 o'clock uh, in Youngstown, Ohio. Y'all pray for me. And I'm going to be the today's evening speaker. Thank you, Jesus. Pray that the Lord will give me strength, give me something to say. Amen. To help us inspire and encourage others. Uh, hallelujah. To cause people to come out of darkness to walk in His marvelous light. Um, we'll be leaving here. Those that are traveling with us, we'll be leaving here on a church van or in a caravan, uh, however you choose to, to do it, at 1 p.m. Uh, normally, uh, what we'd like to do is to get there to Youngstown and, and have something to eat. And then uh, by the time all that's said and done, we'll be ready at 4 o'clock uh, to go into the service, very refreshed and rejuvenated and revived. Um, and we thank God for the meeting that will be held at uh, Lighthouse Covenant Ministries, where the Apostle Michael Scott Sr. is the pastor. And it's an hour and 35 minutes away from here. So it's not too far, amen, not too short either. <laughs> but we thank God. We thank God for the fellowship. We thank God for those that will be traveling. And we certainly praise God. Pray that um, the success will be a success. The service will be a success. And pray uh, for a safe journey. And pray that the Lord will save and add to the church daily such as should be saved. Um, also, too, this month, we got coming up uh, the 19 States Council, June 25th through the 26th, and it will be held virtually on Nightwing um, uh, Facebook page uh, via Zoom. It will be uh, broadcast on there, wherein um, there's going to be uh, morning uh, and evening uh, services. Uh, the morning will be the empowerment services, uh, continued on by our Auxiliaries. Um, I was listening in on First Lady and uh, Sister Yolanda, who's with the uh, the Outreach Auxiliary Ministry. They were getting their uh, theme together. They were getting their program together. We're talking about the theme is spiritual warfare. Amen. And uh, you know, I was listening uh, to them. You know, I'm eavesdropping, ear hustling. You know, I like to hear. I, I'm telling too much on myself. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. I said, you get a lot of information. You know? So they was, they was getting that program together. I would tell them, oh, my man, Sister Lloyd, she, she like a little past up in there. She get things together, get things moving. Amen. I'm looking forward to it. And um, uh, Friday night speaker would be uh, District Elder Daryl Fair on that Friday night dynamic uh, speaker, man of God. And then there's a uh, Saturday night speaker. Um, I really have to look back to see who that individual is, uh, but he's an assistant pastor at uh, one of the churches in Buffalo, New York. So we're looking to have a great time, a glorious time in the Lord. So tune in. Registration is uh, $10. You can register here with us at Christian Ministries, or you can go on to the Night Pain uh, face page and register. 
So we thank God for that. We also uh, praise God for uh, New Horizons Daycare Center opening up uh, July 5th. Amen. Uh, operational hours will be 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. We uh, finally stuck up a little banner out there in the front of the church. Amen. So we uh, need uh, some registered children and we need uh, a couple more staff members. Amen. To uh, help in this journey. So this is a, a, a new uh, beginning for us. And we certainly praise God for it and looking for God to uh, do great things. How many are looking for God to do great things? Amen. If you supply the faith, God can supply the blessing. Amen. If you supply the faith, God can supply the blessing. And we certainly do praise God for all that he's doing. Also, too, we want to thank God uh, for on yesterday how uh, we came together at the zoo uh, to celebrate our children getting out of school. Amen. We had a good time. We had a good time. Uh, watch them play. Uh, some of them went into the zoo as well. Uh, but we certainly, and you know, it was quite a few people out there. Amen. And, you know, it was a good day. Um, I truly admire the fact that there weren't uh, any guns and bullets and, and, and cussing and fighting. You know, not among ourselves, but among the people that were there. You know, certainly I don't expect that among us. Amen. But uh, the people that were there in the park, uh, it was all good. Children had a good time. Amen. I'm looking to have something else. <laughs> Amen. So we certainly do praise God uh, for that. Amen. So that concludes our announcements for today. And as we get ready to move on with our service, uh, we certainly uh, want to uh, go before the Lord in our offering. Uh, also, too, um, uh, we've been blessed. Like I said, Christian ministries have been blessed. And there's a lot of people in the community that is working with us. And uh, we certainly do want to uh, pass on uh, some of those blessings to you all. And um, we have um, some, some food bags in our uh, uh, dining hall there uh, that you're very welcome to get. And um, take, take, take two. Take two. Somebody say take two. <laughs> take two. Take one for yourself and take one for somebody else. Bless somebody else. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. And, and um, we certainly do thank God for that. You'll be able to receive that immediately after the service. And uh, we praise God. We certainly do praise God. All right. Somebody says it's blessing time. It's blessing time. It's blessing time. It's blessing time. Yeah. 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 I know Pastor Clint retired, right?
Gracious Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we ask you, Lord, that you consecrate this offering, that you bless these tithes, even in that, Lord, that you sanctify it, that you use it to your glory. And Lord, whatever purpose and attachment that we have to it, uh, that we have made concerning it, Lord, we ask you that you bless your people 30, 60, and 100 fold. Lord, bless them in our mighty way. In the name of Jesus, strengthen their bodies, strengthen their mind and their spirit, and even bless their bank account. Lord, bless them, Lord, to be able to give, to be able to sow seed, to be able, Lord, to even gather a harvest. Hallelujah, in the name of Jesus. And Lord, you said, seek ye first the kingdom of God and your righteousness, and all these other things shall be added unto us. Father, we pray these blessings in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, I'll turn you over to the ushers. Bless, 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 bless. We're blessed in the secret. We're blessed in the deep. We're blessed in the deep.
Four, five, Jesus. All right, now. Oh, amen. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. We certainly uh, thank you, praise God, for Sister Michelle being with us in, the, in, the, uh, in, this, in this season. Amen. And I just felt like she lost her brother. Amen. My God. We certainly will be praying for you. And know that God is able. Amen. He's able to do. Hallelujah. What we need him to do. Thank you, Jesus. So we certainly praise God uh, for his greatness. And as we uh, look at the book of uh, uh, St. Mark, chapter number two, and I want you to drop down with me uh, to verse uh, number four. To verse number four. I think we might as well read one through four. It says, and again, he entered into Capernaum after some days. And it was noise that he was in the house. And straightway, many were gathered together insomuch that there was no room to receive them. Not, no, not so much as about the door. And he preached the word unto them. Verse 3. And they came unto him, bringing one sick of the palsy, which was born of four. And when they could not come nigh unto him for the press, they uncovered the roof where he was. And when they had broken it up, they let down the bed wherein the sick of the palsy lay. Let us pray. Gracious Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we certainly thank you and praise you for your greatness and your mercy that you have shown toward us. We ask you, Lord, that you touch our hearts and our minds and our spirit, that, Lord, that you send forth grace and mercy right now. Comfort those that are believing, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Send your comfort, send your help, Lord, in the name of Jesus. And bless, Lord, by your power and by your might. And we ask you that you grant the door of us, uh, that we may receive with meekness the grant the word of God to the saving of our souls. This we pray in the precious and the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, amen. We certainly do thank God for the taste being in our, in our midst on today as well. Hallelujah. I want to invite your attention uh, to the book of St. Mark, chapter number 2 and verse number 4. And it reads, And when they could not come nigh unto him for the press, they uncovered the roof where he was, and when they had broken it up, they let down the bed wherein the sick of the palsy lay. I just want to take a thought from that particular verse, whatever it takes. Whatever it takes. And if you're writing that down, write it down, whatever it takes, with an exclamation point on the end. Whatever it takes. Whatever it takes. And we see here that we oftentimes find ourselves in predicaments, in situations. We all uh, have problems. The Bible says that a man that is born of a woman is of a few days and full of trouble. <laughs> they even made a song that says, Trouble in my way. Uh, I have to cry sometimes. But the reframe says that I know that Jesus, he'll fix it after a while. And if you sing that often enough and long enough, it does something to your mind. And you start to believe that Jesus, he'll fix it after a while. And you have to understand that Jesus is a fixer. That Jesus is a deliverer. 
that God sent him to bless you. The Lord has been coming and manifesting himself to bless us. He blesses us because we need help. He blesses us because we have some issues and we have some problems and, and life testing trials know how to come upon us. But Jesus is a burden bearer. Jesus is a burden bearer. And as we begin to look at uh, the scriptures here on today, we see in the scriptures that there was a man that, that, that had some issues. He was paralyzed. He had the palsy. In other words, he was paralyzed. Then the, he was paralytic to the point wherein he was bedridden. So he probably was a quadriplegic. He uh, was probably paralyzed from the waist down. And 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 because of his condition and because of his situation, he needed Jesus. He needed some help. And I like the fact that uh, the, the people heard about Jesus. They, they heard about him. At this point, Jesus was early in his ministry. He uh, just had gotten baptized in the river Jordan and the Holy Ghost had uh, fell upon him and he was driven into the wilderness where the Bible says he, he fasted and prayed for 40 days and for the nights and afterward, uh, he was uh, hungry. And, and Jesus, when he returned, the Bible says he returned full of power, full of the anointing. And he begins to preach uh, that repent ye, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. The, the kingdom of heaven is at hand. He begins to preach and to let people know, in other words, there's a new sheriff in town. That, there's, there's a new somebody's in town that, that you can receive your help, that you can receive your grace, and that you can receive your strength because Jesus is anointed. He's anointed to help you. Jesus is anointed to help you. And I, what I love about Jesus when he started out his ministry, he, he gave the word, he preached the gospel, he preached the good news to let the people know that that, that they can be free. He, he let the people know that there was some power uh, that was in place. He let the people know that the gospel, the gospel uh, that he's preaching is able to save, is, is able to deliver. I see why Paul said, I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ because it's the power of God unto salvation. You, you've got to believe in the gospel. If you want to be saved, if you want God to help you, if you want Jesus to move on your behalf, you've got to believe in that word. The Bible, the Bible says that faith cometh by hearing, uh, and that by the word of God. If, if you want God to move on your behalf, you, you've got to believe that God is, and, and that God is a reward to them that diligently seek Him. And, and when I love about Jesus, when he, when he came on the scene, he, he started rebuking the devil. He, he started healing the sick. He started raising the dead. Jesus, when he came on the scene, he, he opened the blinded eyes. He, he came on the scene and, 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 and told the enemy to shut up. Hallelujah. And to come out of certain people. There were some certain lepers that Jesus met on the way and, and the man desired to be healed and, and Jesus said, be thou clean. And, and he healed the individual and told him, uh, you just better show yourself unto uh, the, the priest like Moses uh, had commanded in the law. And uh, Jesus told the man, don't tell nobody uh, what I've done for you because he didn't want to, to, to start any commotion or to start any trouble. But, the man, he couldn't hold his peace. He, he didn't tell everybody he could. Uh, you know, when Jesus comes to heal you, when Jesus comes to deliver you, you should hold your peace. You got to tell somebody. You got to tell somebody that Jesus is a healer, that Jesus is a deliverer, that Jesus made a way. How do you know Jesus will make a way? Uh, Jesus will meet you in your circumstance. Uh, the Bible says that he's a heart fixer and he's a mind regulator. He, he can heal your broken heart. Uh, the spirit of the anointing is upon Jesus that he'll heal your broken heart. Uh, if you bring your broken heart to Jesus, he knows how to heal it. He, he said, I'll keep you in perfect 
Jesus you will have peace. In Jesus you will have some joy. In the midst of your struggle, you still can have some joy. In the midst of your problem, you still can have some peace. Oh God, I, I feel it up in here. Oh Jesus, in blessing, I feel the Lord for they shall be comforted. If you if you're born today, uh, you can find comfort in Jesus. Chase! 
He said, he said, without my text, if your eye offends you, pluck it out. Without my text. He said, if your hand offends you, cut it off. Yeah. Huh? Without my text. Yeah. Huh? You got some folk that's offending you all the time, cut them off. Yeah. Huh? Without my text. Yeah. If you got some offenses in your life, get rid of those offenses, whatever it takes. Yeah. I've got to see Jesus. Sometimes, like I said before, 
break stuff up. Don't be afraid to try new things. Amen? Don't be afraid to go to new places. Uh, let me say that again. I felt that. Don't be afraid to go to new places. Amen? Uh, if, if you try it and it's not working, don't, don't be afraid to try something else. Amen? Don't be afraid that, 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 because you know when the Lord leads you somewhere, huh? He's leading you there for your benefit. And He won't forsake you there. Huh? And God knows. Somebody say, God knows. Huh? And God, He operates in love. Everything God does, He motivates.
thank you, Lord. And they were giving me different, different definitions to what courage meant. And I said, you know, sometimes just showing up is courage. Oh, come on here, somebody. Uh, just showing up is courage. Uh, and when you show up, God will show up. Uh, when you just show up, when you just show up, God will help you. When you just show up, Jesus' name, amen. amen.